So this edition of Get Creative is focusing on Microsoft Office 2008, my favorite things. The first I'd like to talk about is the Elements Gallery. With the Elements Gallery, you can really build better looking documents across the entire suite. The Elements Gallery is available in PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Elements that are included are things such as templates, quick tables, charts, smart art graphics, and word art. You have themes, slide layouts, transitions, table styles, charts, smart art graphics, and word art. Next is the office art. There are a lot of new image effects such as shadows, glows, and reflections, and they allow you to add a new look and very polished feel to your Office 2008 projects. Some of the office art elements that are available to you, if we take a look at smart art graphics, these are diagrams, graphical lists, and organizational charts. I'm going to go ahead and select a list and let's go ahead and edit some information and put in some type here. Okay, so now I have my information. I can move to any of these different smart art graphics and change the way this appears. And I can use this for tables, project management tasks, life cycles of various projects, relationships, I can create a matrix and pyramids. One of my favorites is the publishing layout. This is a new workspace in Office 2008 and it lets users get to some of the new desktop publishing tools to build newsletters, flyers, and brochures. However, I want to stress that this is still not yet ready for prime time as far as commercial print. In the publishing layout view, you can see that your gallery changes significantly. Now you have access to publication templates. So I'm going to go ahead and select a publication template. And it basically creates a new document for me. And in this publication template, I'm going to select this navigation tab. And so now I can see all the various pages that are available to me within this template. And these are actually image placeholders. So they're holding a spot for a permanent graphic. If I go to my object palette portion of the formatting palette, I have access to shapes. And these are clip art images. So if I wanted to select some of my clip art, you can see as I move in and out of the square, the image changes because that is a placeholder. I can also access my own iPhoto library directly from here, which is wonderful. So I can scroll to any area. Let me select a new photo. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in a new image. The toolbox, or what I like to call the formatting palette. This is a sweet wide feature, and it provides you with instant access to the tools you need for formatting, animations, transitions, formula buildings, and all the new quick apply styles and effects. And this toolbox is available in each of the applications. And it's so much better than all the other toolbars that we used to have going across the top of our office components, now it's just in one convenient palette. One of my new favorites is the ability to send to iPhoto from PowerPoint. Now that I can save my slides to iPhoto, I can view and rehearse all my presentations on my iPhone or from my iPod. I simply choose to save this to iPhoto and it exports out the images as JPEGs, creates a brand new album in iPhoto, and then I simply choose to sync it when I sync up my iPhone or iPod. Really convenient. Next is the ability to save to PDF. I really like this quick save feature. However, there are some major flaws with the exported file. Several times I've come up with instances where it has actually cut off type. If you look at the graphic on this screen where it says sponsored by, it looks like the very top part of that type has been sliced off. And my Get Creative logo is just kind of turned bitmappy and kind of blended back into the background. So I like it for quick quick proofing. However, it's uh, still got a few flaws within that feature. So exporting out to PDF 
as as simple as selecting File, Save, and right here within our Formats menu, drop down and there it is, PDF. I'm going to choose to save this as Animals and just save it to my desktop. And here is the original PDF file. Pretty cool. Themes. I really like the new themes feature. You can apply themes to your overall project and within just one click you can completely change all the colors that are used in your project or all the fonts. And what's nice about this is you can preview your documents in all these different new layout arrangements with colors and fonts and it keeps your existing layout intact. With document themes in Office 2008, all you have to do is select a new color theme and it changes the entire look and feel of your document. You have various color palettes to choose from and all you have to do is scroll down the list and pick the colors that are best for your project. You also have the ability to change your fonts with just a single click. My Day is a new application and what it does is it keeps track of your to-dos and appointments. My Day syncs seamlessly with Entourage but also runs as a standalone application. What I like about it is that I can have it running all the time and I can see what's going on, what's due, and just address those tasks as I need to. The new designs that are available for charts are really great. They're very refreshing and bold and it's so simple now to turn your data into really eye-catching illustrations. With the charting features in Office 2008, you can take your information from Excel and place it into beautifully created charts right in Microsoft Office. And you have the ability to customize the charts, the colors, how they look, use various chart options, and this is built right into Office 2008. And last but not least is the remote control compatibility. With PowerPoint, I can now use the features of my Apple remote to move through my presentations. Yay! Thank you, Microsoft. And that's my take on the new Office 2008. And I hope you have enjoyed this. This is Shelley Hall with Get Creative doing my Office 2008 review. Take care.